There seems to be a lot of confusion today about how to make a Gen 4 ECM idle. It's really not complicated. Most likely it's self-induced. Anytime people complain about my idle dips, my idle flares, return to idle is a problem. It surges. It drives when I take my foot off the uh, brake pedal. Those are all self-induced problems, all generally resulting from one spot in the tune. So let's talk about this real quick with Legos. This is our Lego idle circuit model. The ECM has the ability to adapt idle air. More air, more torque, more spark, or more RPM. And less air, less torque, less RPM. Ideally, the air would never change, but it does. We know it's gonna wiggle up and down. This would be our target idle speed, right? So we kind of expect it to move a little bit like this as long as we have this one speed. However, the ECM also has the ability to adjust spark in the same way, more timing, more torque, more RPM, less timing, less torque, less RPM. So both of these are gonna be moving, right? And that's okay, We, as long as we kind of maintain this target area right here, you know, it's okay if they move. Um, we need it to move, right? It's, it's okay. And it's the same thing when you're sitting in a tiny little seat on an airplane. You get uncomfortable. So what do you do? You shift, you move, you get comfortable. Well, the air does the same thing. But for some reason, everybody has it in their mind that if the ECM pulls air, it's the end of the world. It's not. It's adapting. So what people do, little scaredy cats, is... Oh, here's min final air. I read a big, huge idle tuning guide and it said I need to put this up. Well, guess what? What happens now? Air can't adapt down. It can only be high and go higher. That puts a lot of stress and strain on the spark. So what you get is air goes up and then it comes down, it hits it, and then spark comes down and it has to flip back up. Oh, sorry, ejectors. Um, and we don't want that, right? We don't want this bouncing effect. This is what the whole problem is. The return to idle, idle surging, idle dips is we're putting a, too much strain on that spark. Minimum final air should never really come into play. We never want the idle air adapts to hit that, right? It can get close, that's fine, but typically when it hits that, that means we're putting extra strain on the spark and we don't want to do that. This is your safety stop. This is if all else fails, we have this as a fail safe. Minimum final air is absolutely not your primary tuning aid. Yes. No. Over now.